Hey guys, hope you're doing well today. Welcome to The Pathless Traveled. My name is Ryan, and today we're gonna be talking about my top activities that you can do when you go to visit Kaikoura this summer. First of all, if you guys are new here, then welcome to the channel. This channel is all about exploring the world and then documenting and creating from your adventures and being able to share those creations with either your community that you have on social media or the people you love, your family, your friends, just creating cool stuff to share with others. So if that's something that you guys think you might be interested in, then go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. So today we are talking about the tiny seaside town on New Zealand's South Island East Coast, the town of Kaikoura. Now, just before we get into the activities, just a little bit of backstory on this town because it's had quite a crazy year. In November 2017, the town was totally rocked by a 7.8 magnitude earthquake and it literally raised the seabed about two meters in some places. So there's new land everywhere throughout, throughout the coastal region near the town. And the earthquake also caused some massive landslides that took out both the rail lines leading in and out of town and the roads. In fact, New Zealand's main highway, SH1, was taken out both north and south of the town. So for six weeks, the residents were without power, limited access to water, couldn't get in or out of town. All of the tourists who were in town were evacuated by the Navy in either helicopters or Navy ships. It was a crazy time in town. Now, most of the main business in Kaikoura comes from tourism and the amazing marine ecology that the town has. It's got such a diverse marine wildlife, so many different species, it really draws people to the town. And so you can imagine having a road close or both roads close for part of the year. It deterred a lot of tourists from coming to the town. So people really struggled, the community as a whole really struggled throughout the year not having those tourism dollars coming in and supporting the economy in the town. But I have some really good news. Due to the amazing work of the people who've been working on the road this whole past year, the team at Nictur, the road will be opening again on December 15th, which is just 13 months after the earthquake. And the progress is just amazing. The rate at which they're able to complete this project is fantastic. You guys are gonna see some footage. Like, they've actually had to build entire new roads out over the ocean, these crazy bridges, because of the damage that these landslides cause. So the, the work rate of these guys was just fantastic. Having this road open just over a year after such a devastating event is really impressive. So I've been fortunate enough to spend quite a bit of time in Kaikoura over the past three months or so and got to experience lots of different activities there and I put together my top five for you guys today. So please enjoy the top five activities in Kaikoura. Starting off with number five, Albatross Encounter. Albatross Encounter allows you to get up close and personal with some of the biggest seabirds in the whole world. You have the chance to see species like the Southern Royal and the Wandering Albatross, which has the world record for the largest wingspan. Just seeing these birds and seeing how big they are is just fantastic. Number four is Whale Watch. Part of what makes Kaikoura such a special place and has such a wide diversity of marine wildlife is the massive ocean trench that comes really, really close to where Kaikoura is. And so there's this huge ocean trench just a couple kilometers offshore that is like two kilometers deep in some places. And so with the mixing of the current and the kind of up swelling of the nutrients out of this trench it brings in all of these different these different whales so for instance there's resident sperm whales so those are the whales you're most likely to see but they get orca passing through they get humpback whales passing through on their way to the warm waters in the south pacific to breed they get blue whales passing through they get so many different species of whales passing through but like I said, the sperm whales are the residents there, and you most likely see them, and they're pretty damn cool too. Number three is kayaking with Kaikoura kayaks. These guys are fantastic, they really know their stuff, and getting out on the water and actually kind of working for your view is really, really rewarding. So not only are there fantastic views when you're out in those kayaks, but if you get lucky, you could be joined by a bit of wildlife. 
I've been going along and been in a kayak and had dolphins come up beside me. The seals are everywhere. We've seen seals, you know, chowing down on some octopus out there. You can see anything on any given day. So it's a great way to get out, get some exercise if you want more of an um, involved active activity. It's definitely the way to go. Number two is wings over whales. This is one of the most unique experiences I've ever had when it comes to wildlife. Um, you get to go out in a plane, see the amazing aerial views of the Kaikoura seaward ranges, the mountains. If you go in the winter, they'll just be totally snow-capped and gorgeous. And then you get to fly out over the water and look at the whales from above. And it is, it's pretty incredible giving you just this totally different view of the whales. You kind of get to see their whole bodies. You get this bird's eye view that is just unbeatable. And finally, number one, my favorite activity when I go out to Kaikoura is swimming with the dolphins. Going out with Encounter Kaikoura, the same guys who do the albatross, but going out with the dusky dolphins is seriously something else. For those of you who have watched the channel for a while, you know that I've swum with humpback whales in Tonga, which is an amazing experience, but the dolphins was seriously cool. And it's just right here in New Zealand. You don't have to go too far to get there, <laughs> unless you're not from New Zealand. But the way that they interact with you, they can be in pods of like up to a thousand. I've been out there when there's pods of like three or four hundred around and they just come at you. They're so quick. They interact with you and they're just so much fun. They're coming, they're doing flips out of the water. It is so cool and they're totally wild. They're not baited or anything like that. They're just there on their own terms. They want to have some fun with some weird looking things who have no idea how to swim and our guide said it best he said you're here for the dolphins entertainment they are not here for yours and that can be more true they are they're just so much fun to be in the water with so guys that is my top five but wait 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 before you go i have three bonus activities just very very quickly Number one is the Kaikoura Museum, which just opened after the earthquakes. It is fantastic. It is put together so well. It's small, compact area, but very detailed, lots of variety in there. Definitely go check it out. Secondly is Glen Stray Farm Tours. If you want an authentic Kiwi experience, get an amazing view, have some good chat, and just have a lot of fun with your mates, check out Glen Stray Farm Tours. These guys have a massive amount of property out just south of town and you go out on these 4x4s. The guys are great. They're hilarious. You get amazing views. They actually have a lot of earthquake damage on their property so they'll go show you massive earthquake damage from slips and everything that the earthquake caused. So go check out Glen Stray Farm Tours. And finally, the Peninsula Walkway. If you just want a chillaxed, free thing to do when you're in town, go check out the Peninsula Walkway. You'll go right by the seal colony, check out all the seals, and it's just super relaxing. The views are incredible, just as anywhere in Kaikoura. The views are just amazing, and it's just a great way to relax, enjoy the scenery, and it's totally free as I said. So now we are finished. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions about any of the activities that I talked about today, just ask me in the comments below. I'll list all of the operators in the description so you can go check out their sites and book tours if you want. And if you guys need any other information, don't be afraid to ask. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Until then, don't be afraid to take the path less traveled. See you guys later.